So, Pat, I'm off to New York on Monday for a top secret launch for a, a company that might be doing some cool stuff on AI. I can't say anything about that, but let's not talk about that company. Let's talk about another company that might be doing something interesting around AI. But let's talk about some leadership changes with this company. I'm just throwing AI in everything now. Because, you, you know, are. like, use. You should you just know, change like, your name to Daniel use. Newman. No, no, Dan AI. Wait, hold on. D A N I A D A N. I'm going to call myself Dayil. I'm just going to take the N out of my name because then I'll have an AI in my first name. Okay. Salesforce, big changes. Uh, one of uh, someone that we've worked with in the past, pretty big fan, landed as CMO. Talk about what's uh, what's going on there. What's Mark Benioff up to? Yeah. So uh, another Salesforce management shakeup. And I'm going to call this getting the band back together. So on the last pod, we talked about uh, Salesforce's Q1 earnings, right? They were up 11%. And some analysts asked if the company was still a growth play, right? It was the slowest pace of growth in 13 years. There were bright spots, though, right? You had MuleSoft, 26% growth. You had Slack at 20% growth. And gosh, past three years, Dan, we've always talked about um, organic uh, growth versus uh, acquired growth. But no, growth is is front and center. So uh, Miguel uh, Milano uh, is moving back to Salesforce uh, he, where he was chief revenue officer at Salonis. Uh, he was president of all Salesforce International until 2020. Ariel Kelman, that you, uh, you referred to, previous CMO at Oracle, uh, and then before that, AWS, and then before that, 12 years ago, he was VP of marketing for the Salesforce platform, right? Now, 12 years ago is not like, you know, coming back quickly. It'd be like me going back to AMD, uh, which, by the way, would never happen. Um, the, other, the other thing that was in this uh, uh, memo, and by the way, a Ariel's announcement is live on LinkedIn. We're not rumor-mongering rumor here. So uh, the Benioff memo also said that uh, President and Chief Ops, uh, COO Brian Milham is going to be taking on a host of new responsibilities. Looks like he'll have marketing, uh, employee success and business technology. Um, so all of these changes on the heel of co-CEO Brett Taylor leaving, Slack founder Stuart Butterfield leaving, Tableau CEO Mark Nelson leaving. So what does this all mean? Well, complete re-architecture of the organizations. First thing we saw were big product and business leader changes. And by the way, the heir apparent change. Now we have big changes in the sales and marketing function with Miguel and Ariel and a potential new successor to Mark uh, with Brian. So in isolation, big changes like these take take time. I mean, it'll be interesting to see the, the before and after two years ago to, to where we are now. But I think if the economy improves and Salesforce can punch in this AI capability uh, grid and gets its fair share of it, I don't see why the company can't get back to the 20% uh, growth days. Yeah, I think you, you hit a couple of key points on the head. I don't think we need to belabor this, but let's talk. This is a great reset. The company's seen its growth slow to the slowest it's grown in a, ever, I'm pretty sure, is what the data points came out to. It made a lot of very large investments through inorganic uh, acquisitions, which Pat, you and I have talked about for a long time. Um, inorganic is part of the strategy to grow, but you need to continue to innovate on the, the core products in most cases in order to be successful. I think Mark is, uh, Benioff is looking at this as probably a pretty good inflection now with a lot of this changeover to really bring in what would become the band uh, for the next wave of significant growth. And the band for the next wave of significant growth into the, Pat, what am I going to say next? AI. AI. Era. When in doubt, you're going to say AI. Dan doesn't actually know a lot, but he likes to say the words AI. But in all serious about AI, Pat, is like, look, they just launched Salesforce GPT, Tableau GPT, Slack GPT. Like this company is pivoting to now be, a, you know, Remember Einstein, remember a mm -hmm. AI in the boardroom. I mean, he's been talking about this for a long time, but yeah. it hasn't landed for the company. It has not been a success. You know, it, it you know, kind of had some of the same flavors of Watson 1.0. Like 
the way IBM reconfigured itself for AI is now the way a Salesforce needs to reconfigure itself for the AI era. And I believe that um, he's looking at the team. He's trying to figure out who the, the, the successors and heir parents could be, but he's also just trying to get a team to get their head down and get working. I think he, un, I think he unequivocally was unhappy with the growth rate of this company. He's yeah. seeing the magnificent seven, the companies that have defied the market all year long, growing, growing, growing and Salesforce is, it's uh, wow. it's been kind of paddling, you know, in the waters, watching Google's and Microsoft's and these companies run away. And Salesforce has, you know, the most deployed uh, uh, SaaS based CRM solution on the planet. And, you know, in this era, uh, sorry, in this no, era, that was me. The, sorry. the company needs to get itself up to date and stay relevant. This is those these are those pivotal moments in a company's existence where they have to make a decision to change, to stay relevant and keep growing. I think Salesforce has the capabilities to do that. It's got the customer base. It has the loyalty. It has the admiration in the marketplace, but it has gotten a little bit stagnant. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Let's rock and roll. AI has got to be the moment. And now we have to start to see some energy, some growth, some innovation in product to help the market get excited again, spending more, expanding that revenue dollar with every existing client and getting new clients to sign up. It's going to be more com competition than ever. And generative AI will create new competition from unexpected places. So Salesforce, big moment. Let's see how this goes. 